evening, everybody. I'm Richard Osman, and this is the House of Games. All week, I am joined by four celebrity contestants, and all week, they are battling it out to win this trophy. Who are this week's players? Let's meet them once again. And they are Nina Wadia, Johnny Ball, Susie Ruffle, and Danny Wallace. Welcome back, everybody. It was lovely having you here yesterday. Nina, mm -hmm. in position one, so enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah, I think you might have buzzed in more than anyone in the history of the show. I mean, listen, you didn't get many points, but my goodness, you buzzed in a lot. Well, I just, you can't put a buzzer in front of me. It's fun, <laughs> you just right? can't. Yeah, you want to just, press it? Yeah, I'll be pressing Johnny's next yeah. and I'll dive over. <laughs> you should be so lucky, Johnny. <laughs> Anytime you like. Johnny Anytime Ball, like. showbiz legend, broadcasting legend, lovely to have you here. You spent all of yesterday's show complaining your brain didn't work and then did rather well. My brain didn't work very well. It, it's it, kidology, Johnny. It, yes, it might. Nobody is fooled by you, <laughs> sir. Nobody is fooled by you. Shall we take a little look at the leaderboard from Please. yesterday? Nina buzzed in a lot, but one point. Johnny, two points. Susie has three points. Danny Wallace won it yesterday. He has four points. It was very close, though, between everybody. Very close. Susie, when you win on this show, uh, you win a daily prize. Now, Danny won yesterday. But he very kindly gave you his prize. I know, I was delighted. That's right, he won the House of Games roller boots. Yep. I did. Um, and so today I'm going to work really hard and try and win Danny whatever you want. Wow. You you whatever you want, it's well, yours. Well, you say whatever you want, it'll be one of these things. Yeah, of Let's course, take yeah, a look. I mean, within reason. There is a it's mannequin. A it's a lovely cushion that you don't get the mannequin, unfortunately. Oh, no. it's, right. it's just the apron. There is a House of Games scented candle, House of Games gardening gloves, and then the House of Games cut glass decanter wow. as well. If Susie wins today, Danny, what would you like her to give you? The candle, the scent, is that also, is that your scent? It's a mixture of my scent and sandalwood, essentially. Oh. It's, a little, it's a little bit of both. <laughs> um, I think I'll go for the decanter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would if I were you. OK, shall we play round one on Tuesday's House of Games? Yes, yes please. It is. King of the Jumbo. I'm going to ask you two questions. The answers are anagrams of each other. OK, that's all you need to know. Here are your first two questions. Fingers on buzzers, please. Nationality of politician Angela Merkel. And trough used as a crib for baby Jesus. Yes, Nina. Um, may German manger? German and manger. There we go. <laughs> See, that's the combination we need. Buzz in and then get the right answer. <laughs> that's how you win this show. Listen, the odds are if you just buzz in enough, at some point you'll get something right. Well, you disproved that yesterday. <laughs> I did. Here's your next one. These two words are anagrams of each other, but what are they? Ballroom dance originating in Argentina. And the Pacific Island nation of King Tupu VI. Yes, Nina. Tango and... <laughs> um, Tonga. <laughs> Tango and Tonga uh, is the right uh, answer. Oh, well done. Wow. Thank you. Here's your third question. Poet and writer of Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. And what are these? <laughs> yes, Susie. T.S. Eliot uh. Toilets. T.S. Eliot and Toilets. Yes. Well played, Susie. I've got everyone half a second late. Every once in a while, half a second late. If everyone could slow down for Johnny, please. <laughs> please, please, yeah. please, please. Here are your next two questions. First name of Elizabeth II's second eldest son and person entrusted to supervise a particular place or activity. Yes, Danny. Well, it's, of course, the Duke of York, Andrew, and it would have to be a warden. Is it Andrew and warden? It is Andrew and warden. Yes. Yes. Here's your next question. The answers are both anagrams. Insects that are kept in a formicarium for study. And what is the name of this song? Susie. Stan and, well, Ants and Stan. Ants and Stan, well Very played. Good. Ants are kept in a formicarium, Stan by Eminem. Here are your next two. What are the answers? Big Spotted Cats, the fastest land mammals. And ITV Quiz Show featuring Mark Labette and Anne Hegarty. 
Yes, Danny. Cheetahs and the Chase. Cheetahs and the Chase, is that right? <laughs> it is right, well done. <laughs> Here are your next two. Mr Baxter's job in Grange Hill. And unit of area equal to 10,000 square metres. Johnny Ball, here we go. Teacher and Hector. Teacher and Hector, Hector. is wow. the right answer. Welcome to the show. Yes! <laughs> That's racing, John <laughs> You see how you make people feel sorry for you. They're applauding you but getting you you're, right. you're an opponent. How about last that? Last Bullet Baxter, of course. Uh, here's the last question in this round. What are the two answers here? Ancient Egyptian stone that helped with the translation of hieroglyphs. And what is this? Yes, Johnny. Rosetta and toaster. Oh. Rosetta and toaster, Mr Johnny Ball, well played. <laughs> well played, everyone. Let's take a look at the scores at the end of round one. Oh, wow. my goodness. Lovely. Look at how lovely is that? <laughs> yeah. Listen, you were all lovely to each other yesterday, and now, look, just sharing the points out. Two points for everyone. Let's get between you, shall we, with round two. Today, round two is going to be... Plan Illogical. Now, this is a pairs game. What we do in this round, the person in last place gets to choose their partner. You're all in last place. <laughs> <laughs> Equally, you're all in first place, which is rather lovely. You chose yesterday, didn't you, yes. Nina? Yes. Johnny, why don't you choose a partner for this I round? I think we're going to stick together. Oh, you're going to stick with Nina? You're That's nice. Me, well, I'm quite hurt, but yeah. Uh, I, I, I think we'll stick together, because you was brilliant. Yeah. And, and also, you, you, don't, you don't have to move. We don't have to move. <laughs> which, is we lovely, don't. which is lovely. So, Nina and Johnny will be playing together, Susie and Danny playing together. Now, this is how we play chronological. You're going to see three historical events. You simply need to put them in order, OK? There's a little twist, and you see what it is, but you just have to put these three events in order, OK? Nina and Johnny, here's the first one for you. Your category is clubs. Here are your three things. 50 Cent reaches the top ten in the UK with Inda Club. Matthew McConaughey wins an Oscar for his performance in the film Dallas Buyers Club. And Susie Ruffle makes her Edinburgh Fringe Festival debut in a show called The Lunchtime Club. When was it? Susie? Was it lunchtime? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> one of them happened at lunchtime, one of them was tea time, and one of them was breakfast. <laughs> right, I have no idea. Susie's okay. probably the latest here, I don't know. Yes, I, I would go with Matthew McConaughey's Oscar as the earliest thing. <laughs> followed by Susie, followed by 50 Cent. Right. Two, three, one. Ha happy with that, Johnny? Perfectly. <laughs> it's probably entirely wrong. That's all I, I can would, do. I wouldn't have said anything different. So, are you right? Let's put them in that order. So, there we go. Uh, first of all, Susie, when, when, what year was your that day? Uh, that would have been 2011. 2011. OK. <laughs> Let's find out. Have you got the right answer there? You no. have not got the Sorry, correct Johnny. order. <laughs> no. Let's see what the right order was. Oh, 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 there you go. It was 50 Cent, then Susie Ruffle, then Matthew McConaughey, 2014. Okay. How did you do at home? Um, Susie, Danny, three yes. events for you here. All right. Let's go. Your category is doctors, and here are your three events to put in chronological order. Kanye West receives an honorary doctorate from the School of the Art Institute in Chicago. Dr. Pressure by Milo versus Miami Sound Machine is a UK top ten single. Nina Wadia plays Dr. Ramsden alongside Matt Smith as the newly regenerated Doctor in Doctor Who. Got you. And can you just tell us what years are these? <laughs> <laughs> I will in about a, a minute and a half. I see, I see. So I would say that Nina in Doctor Who, if it's Matt Smith, I think that's going to be the earliest. OK. Because Matt Smith was about ten years ago. And then I'd say that Kanye West receiving an only doctorate is probably the earliest. It is probably the latest. Yeah, I think. Nina, then Dr. Pressure, then Kanye West. All right. And I give, Are you that, happy my, to go I with give that? that my full backing. <laughs> Until it's wrong. Yeah. yeah. yeah cool. So you think Nina, Dr. Pressure, Kanye West. That's yep. Right. Nina, do you remember what year that would have been? Oh, my. <laughs> I think... Actually, I, I, I'd probably say Susie's right. It's around 10 years ago. OK, about 10 years ago. Have you scored yourself a point? 
It is not the right order. Let's take a look Sorry. at the no, correct no, no, order. No 2005, Dr. Pressure, <laughs> Nina, 2010. How about that? Oh. Uh, and Kanye West, 2015. Johnny and Nina, your category is Berlin. And here are your three events. Denzel Washington wins at the Berlin Film Festival Best Actor for Malcolm X. The Berlin Wall falls and David <laughs> Hasselhoff performs at that year's New Year's Eve concert by the Brandenburg Gate. And a 14-year-old, Danny Wallace, moves to Berlin with his parents. I think, I think I, I've got an idea, so, as I had no idea last time. Oh, that's... I think three comes first. I think Denzel Washington goes back quite a way when he won the Berlin Festival. Oh, no, um, Malcolm X came out in what year? I'm trying to so think. So what was the wall? What year did the wall come down? Oh. When did the Berlin Wall come down? Uh, I think it's three. <laughs> you think it's three one two? I think it's three two one. I think it's three two one. Oh, it's three two one. Now I think I agree. I think it's three two one. Oh no, I'm going to mess it up. I don't know if I've no, said that. three two one. Yeah. Three two yeah. one. Oh no, don't let me mess it up. Um, All right, three, one, two. 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 Fine. Three, one, two. And then it's my fault. OK, yes, I'll do that. <laughs> Let's put them in that order. Danny Wallace moves to Berlin. Did you, did you move to Berlin before the fall of the wall? No, we went <gasps> right after the fall of no. the wall. No! Ah! This is gonna, that's taken a lot of the jeopardy out of this reveal. Oh, God! Let's find out. Is that oh. the right order? <laughs> it is oh, not. No. Let's put them in the right order, shall we? It was the Berlin Wall. The Berlin oh. Wall fell. Danny Wallace oh, took a look, one look at Hasselhoff on the wall, said to his mum and dad, that's where I want to move. Get, yeah. Get me there. Get me there. Uh, <laughs> let's see, can anybody score a point in this round? Okay, Susie on, and on, Danny. <laughs> your category is school. Here are your three events. Can you put these in order? The first GCSE exams were held in UK schools. The first St Trinian's film, The Bells of St Trinian's, is released in cinemas. And Mr Johnny Ball begins hosting Play School on the BBC. OK. Interesting. Well, the, the first St Trinian's, they were sort of, they were black and white, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. My instinct would say, Bells of St Trinian's, black and white film. Yep. Play School started, that was in colour. So I would say that was second, and then I would say after C CSEs came the GCSEs. I think you're... Bang on the money. Yeah? Yeah. Should we try it? Bells of St Trinians, Johnny, GCSEs. Is that right? You're absolutely yeah. right. Oh, <laughs> it was so easy, wasn't it? 50, 50, 54, 67 and 88. Well played, everybody. Let's take a look at what that has done to the scores. Here's where we are. Nina and Johnny still on two. Susie and Danny now have three points. Yeah. Well played. Excellent work. Happy with that. Happy with that. Round three. You don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. It is... The elephant in the room. Now, I'll tell you how we play this, but first I will tell you what the elephant in the room is. And today it is... ear. OK? I'm now going to ask you a series of questions. Buzz in and give me the right answer, but you must not mention the elephant in the room. If the word ear is... Anywhere in the answer, you must not say it. Very best of luck to you all. Fingers on buzzers. Here is your first question. Which long-running TV motoring show was first broadcast in April 1977 with Angela Rippon as a presenter? Top Gear. Top Gear or Top G? Absolutely right, Top Gear. You lose the ear. Top Gear. Here's your next one. Which playwright wrote the 16th century play, Love's Labour's Lost? Yes, that is Nina. Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? No, I can't take it, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Susie. Shakespeare E. Shakespeare E is the right answer. Yeah, we take the ear out of Shakespeare. I think you left in you left in the, the last the R. R. Yeah, can't Sorry, believe it. That's all right, no <laughs> Take the ear out of this answer, please. Which band had a UK top ten hit with Mad World in 1982? 
Yes, Nina. T S. For F S. Tis for fizz. Tis for fizz. I'll give you tis for fizz, Nina. Tis for fizz. Well done if you said that at home. Here's your next one. What is the name of the bearded character who acts as a father figure to Noddy in Enid Blyton's books? Yes, Danny. Big S. <laughs> big S, yeah, yeah, big S. Big ears. Leave that the ear. It's a big S. Leave the ear out of this answer, please. What is the title of this song? I think I can make it now. The pain is gone. Yes, Danny. I can see Lee now. I can see Lee now is the right yeah. answer. Well done. <laughs> Here's your next question. He presented the National Television Awards for 10 years from 2010 to 2019. Danny. Dermot O. Lilly. It's not, I'm afraid. Unlucky. <laughs> Nina. Dermot O. Le. Is. <laughs> Le. Is. Uh, L. Y. S. No, I'm afraid no. not. Johnny Ball. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Dermot O. L. Is it I or Y? I'm not sure. uh, no, I can't take that either. This is... We all know who it is. <laughs> we're, we're just trying to take the ear out of Dermot. Leary, Susie, help us out. Dermot yeah. O... <laughs> L-Y? Yeah, Dermot yeah. O-Y, absolutely. <laughs> oh, that was hard on this one. Final question in this round. What is the rank directly above Commodore in the Royal Navy? Johnny. R. Admiral. R. Admiral. Oh, yeah. Admiral. Oh, wow. Yay. <laughs> oh, that was harder than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Those really are crazy. tough. Those are tough. Should we take a little look at the scores? Three rounds in. <laughs> Nina and Johnny have three. Susie has five. Danny in the lead on his own, six points. Yes. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Shall we play round four? Yeah. Okay, it is. Put your finger on it or take your tablets out, please. I'm going to show you a series of pictures. I'm then going to ask you to put your finger on something in the picture. OK? OK. Here's your first picture. Ah, there's a picture of a dartboard. I want you to put the finger on the following, please. The section of the dartboard that is often referred to as the madhouse. That's not the easiest darts question in the world, I would say. Anyone happy with their answer? No, <laughs> no, really. Everybody is in. So, where on that dartboard is the madhouse? Let's see where Nina has gone. Just between the one and the 18. Yeah. Think, yeah, it's the madhouse. It's a mad place to throw a dart. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, That's man. true. It is. <laughs> Johnny, where have you gone? Double one. Double one, you say, is the madhouse. Susie, what was your thinking? I thought it was triple one. Oh, really? But I'm not good at darts. OK, so you, perhaps you were aiming for double one. That's the thing. hit triple one. Yeah. Danny, did you know this one? Uh, no, I didn't. And I just went sort of in the middle, cos it's all crazy there. Like, anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what have I got? What have I got? And you run off and you don't know if you've got an 11 or a 14 <laughs> or a green bit. So Danny's madhouse... His bullseye. Right, the, bullseye. The, is the bullseye. <laughs> also known as the bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, they do have a name for that already. Right. Where is the madhouse on a dartboard? It is... Double one, oh. Johnny. Point to you. Very well done. Very good. Let's take a look at your next picture. Ooh, there's a picture. Can you put your finger on the following, please? The US president who had previously served as vice president. We will start with Johnny. Johnny, who have you pointed to? George Bush Senior. George Bush Senior. Susie, where have Me you too. gone? Same one? Same one. George Bush Senior. Danny, where have you gone? 
I've gone for George Bush Senior, but slightly closer to his navel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I haven't. Oh, look at that. <coughs> for his clavicle. And Nino, where have you gone? I went for George Bush Junior. <laughs> oh, interesting. Well, listen, this is either going to go very well for you this round <laughs> yeah. or very, very badly. Are we going to give out three points or are we going to give out one point? Let's see who had previously served as vice president. It was George Bush Senior. Well done, the three of you. Well three points. <laughs> Unlucky Nina. George Bush Senior was Reagan's vice president, of course. One final picture in this round. Look, there's a picture of what that's like horsey stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look at what we want here. Can you please put your finger on the pommel? Anyone here ridden horses in their time? Yeah, my, my dad does a lot with he sort of works with horses. Really? Okay. Yeah, he would be he'll be well, hugely he... disappointed watching this. <laughs> is everyone locked in? Yep. Yep. Danny, we'll start with you. Do you know what the pommel is? Well, do I? <laughs> yeah, it's, oh, it's such a big question, isn't there's it? There's like, there's the saddle, right? Um, yeah. But then you think of a pommel horse. Yes. You think of what you do with a pommel horse. Gymnastics, yeah. So I thought it could be saddly, but I didn't go for the saddle bit. I went for the bit just underneath the saddle, supporting it as, as a pommel horse might. Uh, OK, oh, so nice. just underneath That's my the saddle. Logic. That's your pommel. Yeah. Nina, where have you gone? Again, no logic to mine, though. <laughs> I put it also on the saddle, but on the kind of back end, that little darker bit there. No, that's the front end. Oh, is it? Oh, oh no, is that the front, see, I know is that the front of the saddle? Nothing about yeah, that's the front of the saddle. That's the that's front, front end. Oh, great. Yeah. What is a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, where have you gone? I think it's, uh, the, it's the, ri the, the highest bit at the front of the saddle, which is on the right. Oh, and, wow. and with the American cowboys, they have an actual pommel, which is a, a knob, so they can wind their rope round it when they're oh, really? pulling steers. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the pommel. Susie. I'm in the same Going place as Johnny. Really? Yeah. Oh. So you think that's a pommel? I think so. Okay. For the wow. same reason of the cowboys. I mean, Nina and Danny, I love you both dearly, but, <laughs> I mean, if I was a betting man... <laughs> <laughs> I would say, given neither of us know the front or the back of the saddle. <laughs> no, I don't. I also thought that I was doing it on the front there. <laughs> <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Susie and Johnny might have got a point. <laughs> but do you guys know the front and the back of a horse? Because maybe you've got the whole thing twisted around the wrong way. <laughs> Only in panto. <laughs> Here we go. Where have you gone at home? Do you agree with Johnny and Susie? Or do you agree with Nina? Or do you agree with Danny? There it is. Look at that. A point for Johnny oh, and Susie. God. Very well played. <laughs> Tablets away, please. Oh, dear. <laughs> We've got one round to go on Tuesday's House of right. Games. Danny won yesterday. Who's going to win today? Let's see where we are. Oh. Nina, you have three. Johnny, you have six. Susie and Danny up the top there with seven points each. Wow. Wow. So, the last round, as always, on House of Games is... Answer smash. There'll be some pictures, there'll be some clues. Smash the answers together, please. Point for a correct answer, you lose a point if you buzz in and give me an incorrect answer. Anyone's game, OK? Very best of luck to all of you. Here is your first category. Game show hosts. Those will be the pictures, there'll be a clue underneath. Smash them together, what do you get? Good luck, everybody. Which 1989 Academy Award-nominated film stars Kevin Costner as Ray Kinsella? Danny. Philip Schofield of Dreams. Oh, yeah. Philip Schofield, Field of Dreams is the right answer. <laughs> Here we go. Here's your next one. Who's this and what's the answer to the clue? What is the name for an abnormal protrusion from an internal organ? <laughs> yes, Nina. Stephen Mulhernia. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Mulhernia. Well done, Sorry, Stephen Mulhernia. Oh. You know what, if Stephen is watching at home, that's uh, Stephen Mulhernia. <laughs> that's great. Here's your next clue. In 1982, Madness had a UK number one single with which song? Yes, Danny. Bob Monk, House of Fun. Bob Monk, House of Fun, well played. Here's your next category. Cables. I love cables. 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 Well, that's interesting. I haven't. <laughs> that is. I mean, the question might just throw curveballs sometimes, but you're going to see pictures of cables. Yeah. I've got a lead. Uh, <laughs> 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 Let's see what the answers are. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. 
Which disco group consisted of three Gibb brothers? Yes, Danny. US Bee Gees. US Bee Gees, oh, yes. is that right? <laughs> it is the US Bee Gees. Well done. That's good. That is good. I'll give him that. I love cables. Yeah. Oh, do you? This is a great round for you. Um, here's the next one. Which UK security service had the official wartime address PO Box 500? I don't know what they're called. I plug oh, it in. Oh, yeah. Hey. Danny, he's going for it. HDMI 5? Is it HDMI 5? Yeah. Oh. Wow. It is. Well done. Amazing. I love the fact that as soon as you buzzed in, you realised it could be five or six. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and like I said, I love cables, but I just wasn't sure yeah. about uh, HD... wartime security services. HDMI 5. HDMI and MI 5. Here is your final cable. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Wing, attack and goal defence are positions in which team ball sport? Yes, Nina. Oh, well, I know it's... Oh, Ethernet ball. Is it Ethernet ball? Yeah. It oh. is. Well played. <laughs> Ethernet ball. Here's your next category. Boy band members. You'll see a picture of a boy band member. Look at Susie going, yep, yep, <laughs> I, I, I have got this. According to the nursery rhyme, little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet doing what? Yes, Danny. Now, is it Ronan Keating, uh, her curds and whey? Whatever that is. is it Ronan Keating, her curds and whey for a point? Yes, it is. Ah. Ronan Keating eating her curds and whey. Who's your next boy band member? No more boy band members. I'm so sorry, Susie. Yes, yeah, she's Danny had rich. three cables and you only had one boy band member. One. And then he... I thought, I found my... I'm going to and then he even got that. <laughs> Shall we take a look who's won Tuesday's House of Games? With 12 points, Danny wow. Wallace has won again. Thanks. Well played, Danny. <laughs> well played, Danny. So, Danny, yesterday you won a prize, you won the roller boots and you gave it to Susie. I did. Would you like a prize for yourself today or are you going to keep up this selfless uh, display? Let's take a look at what you could be taking home. I think I'll, I'll choose the one that looks the most like an award, so I can pretend that I've won the, the That's whole a week. That's good idea. I'll have the decanter, please. Right? Danny is taking home the House of Games decanter. Congratulations, Danny. <laughs> Let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard after two days of House of Games. Here's how we stand. Nina, you have two points. Johnny, four. Susie, six. Danny, up in the lead with eight points. It can all change, though. We have three days to go. Friday is double points as well. It's been an absolute pleasure once again. I'll see you at the same time, same place tomorrow. I will see you at the same time, same place tomorrow as well on the House of Games. <laughs>